Krishna here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know that it's been a long while since I last uploaded my video. Things have been a bit hectic on my side but hopefully you guys will enjoy today's haul video. So as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a collective haul with Shopee and Shein. I actually bought a bunch of stuff after my first month of pay came out. Kids, please don't follow my example. Please don't do that. Please save up your money. Before we proceed to the video today, if you guys like the lenses that I'm wearing today, it's actually from Haba Christie. And feel free to use my code SHNAL10 to get 10% off when you purchase their lenses on their website. So now, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So I'm actually going to be starting out with my Shopee haul first because that haul is significantly a lot smaller than the Shein one. So I actually have been looking for like bags to buy because I feel like I'm always using the same bags and I really wanted a bag that had gold chains and something that was very simple and black. This is obviously like a fake Salvatore Fergano. No idea how to pronounce it. I'm probably butchering the brand name. It's just like a very simple gold chain and it's just a sling bag and what I really like about this is that despite it not being adjustable, it's actually right at my hip length. So the second bag that I want to talk about right is this um, handbag. I don't know how to describe it. It's just white with crocodile prints on it and I've been looking for a bag like this for a while now and this bag is actually bigger than I expected because like sometimes I feel like handbags can be a bit small so you cannot really put much stuff in it but then there's like quite a bit of space for this particular bag. Also another quick thing to note is that any of the products that you see in this video today will be listed in the description box down below so if you guys would like to buy any of the things that I bought feel free to check the description box down below for the links. So now moving on to this contour powder that I bought from Shopee as well. It's from this Philippine Filipino, Philippine brand called Madam G. Madam G is their Make It Sharp um, 4 grams contour powder. For its price point, also, it was definitely less than $5. It has very good pigmentation and it's just like a very simple contour powder for you to contour your cheekbones, your forehead, and I just really like it a lot. And it's so small and compact, so it doesn't take up a lot of space in my makeup pouch, also. Cause a lot of makeup. Next item is this fake JBL earpiece. It's pink in color and it's supposed to look like JBL I guess. I don't even know whether JBL has like this production collection line. Um, it was about $15 and it's like one of those China tech products. I really to be honest like the color of this. It's so cute and it's quite light so you can tell that it's like cheap but really like how cheap it is because it works and there's nothing much for me to complain about. The last thing I'm going to be talking about from my Shopee side of the haul is this bag. It's just a very normal black sling bag that's perfect for people who go to work or school and it's very sturdy. Like the stitching and all is really actually very good and again very cheap because it's from Shopee and I actually carry quite a bit of stuff to intern nowadays so this has been my work bag. I actually bought this bag for the particular reason of using it for work. So now moving on to the Shein side of the haul, I actually spent a total of $62.52 if I remember correctly and I actually bought a ton of stuff ranging from like tops to also dresses this time. I also bought a pair of pants and also accessories, things like that. So let's go! For the sake of making things easier for me, I'm gonna start out with things that are not clothing items but more of accessories and also I bought a pair of sandals which I'm gonna show you guys later too. So I got like three different designs for the press on nails. Firstly is this black and white one with like snake details and also tree details. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like quite kind of badass. It's black and white. It's simple and it's striking. So I really like this when I first saw it. That's, that's the reason why I bought it. And then second box of press on nails is very simple, it's just white nails. Very cheap as well, like under $2 so. And then the last box of press on nails is this like fire pink, pink fire design that I think has been like an ongoing trend on TikTok and also like in like fashion in general this year. So I bought the pink one because 
I felt like it was slightly more subdued. So the next thing I'm gonna be talking about is actually a necklace. So I've been very into like necklaces recently because I've always had sensitive skin so I never really got to wear a lot of necklaces when I was younger. I decided to buy this like lock, padlock necklace that had like layered effect to it. So it's like a lock, padlock with um, a normal chain as well as a heart necklace together all in one as well. I think that it's very like versatile you can like match this with anything like example maybe you're just wearing like an oversized t-shirt with like jeans you can just put this on and suddenly you look very cool very swag so the last thing that is not a piece of clothing that i'm going to be talking about is this is this belt so this is how the chain looks like and to be honest kind of glad that it came without being stuck together because you can just wear it as a necklace too so now we are finally moving on to the clothing items and the first thing that I'm going to be talking about is the pair of sandals that I was mentioning just now and it's this yellow ruffle sandal kind of thing kind of reminiscent of like ruby designs you know like the short ruby but the reason why I bought this pair of sandals was because firstly they were on sale secondly the colour is cute as fuck thirdly I want more sandals so I've been very into sandals recently because I've been going to intern and my intern office actually have a habit of not wearing shoes. We wear home slippers in our office. So it's very irritating when you reach the office, then you have to take out shoes, you have to unlace it. And I'm one of those fuckers that like to lace and unlace my shoes because I don't like to slip on my shoes like this. So it's great to wear sandals to work. So now finally moving on to the clothes. I'm going to be starting with this first. So this is a crop top but for the price itself the quality is not bad despite it having like loose threads what the fuck are you doing here but the reason why i bought this was because firstly it was on sale secondly it's very cute it's like plaid and i think that it's very like minimal and very like effortlessly cool swag you can just pair it with anything you want jeans like even the black pair of jeans i'm wearing right now i can probably just like wear this and it will still look good the next piece of clothing right i just want to warn you guys that it's very different from what i usually wear and i don't know what the fuck went through my mind when i bought it probably because it was very fucking cheap i don't even know how to describe it bohemian style pair of pants and wow it's really sheer it's so sheer jesus christ man i have no idea how it's gonna look like now with how sheer it is but i really like the like flat element at the end because i feel like flat pants they are so underrated like i feel like people need to wear flat pants more because they are so unique and i feel like it's very like vintage very vibey that kind of like funky kind of look next top you guys might like find like a consistent element today which is patterns I'm very into patterns now, I don't know why But this is like a top that is... It's a halter top So your back is exposed But I think that it's not as exposed as I thought it would be Because there's quite a sizable amount of fabric covering your chesticles the next thing that I'm gonna be talking going to be talking about is a dress. This is a dress. And firstly, can I just say, look how fucking cute. Secondly, God bless to all the gods in the world that the material is cotton or polyester. I have no idea. But definitely not swimwear material lah. Huh? I did read the reviews for this. That's one of the reasons why I added it to the cart. And also again very cheap, it was like less than $10 Pretty sure it was like $8 or something I really like how like simple this is This is just like a very pattern Flower pattern dress I guess But then it gives off very like Tumblr vibes You know like Tumblr girl vibes Where a girl will just wear this with converses That's how I feel about it Again please don't judge me for my choice on why I decided to buy this But I wanted to buy this because I saw it and it looked so soft and I'm just gonna say I do not fucking regret it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so soft. It's so oh my god, it's so soft. This is like one of those clothing items, right? That you absolutely only can wear during like cold weather, like when rainy seasons. 
But like, Singapore's weather right now is just fucking hot. It's like, everyone's burning alive every single afternoon. So, I don't know when am I gonna wear this, but if you are in like, air-conditioned places or when it's raining, this will be your best friend. It's so soft and it's just like, it feels like a fluffy towel. It's like this kind of thing like, you know, like hair wraps, like you can wrap your hair in it to dry. It's that kind of material but like softer, like not as rough. Next thing is this corset belt. I should have talked about this like when I first started the haul. But then I thought that it was more of a clothing item. But now that I look at it again, it's definitely not a clothing item. It's a corset belt. So I decided to buy this corset because I just thought that it will come in handy next time and I also feel like it's like a very good way to just dress up your dress shirts dress up your dress shirts wow Chanel English and like maybe you can just wear like a huge oversized dress shirt right and like make it look like an actual dress and then you just put like the corset belt in the center and like pushes firstly pushes your chesticle up secondly cinches your waist because we like that snatched waist and thirdly it adds it adds to the vibe, it adds to the look. So I really like that look. So I decided to just buy this for fun. Ending this haul with a bang. Is this dress that I have no fucking idea why I added to the cart. Because um, we don't club anymore. The club closed like a year and a half ago. This is like a total club dress. Is this dragon black and red um, detailed dragon dress. It's very oriental but like kind of badass as well so i think what was going through my mind is that i have this leather jacket that i'm pretty sure you guys have seen on my instagram before that i wore with the sheen angel top and i was thinking that maybe i can wear this dress with the leather jacket with combat boots and you just and the material this time is a mix of the swimwear material with cotton so I guess it's good because that means the dress is like breathable. I don't know but again for its price point, very good quality. Like honestly, I feel like there's not much to complain about it and it's stretchable as well so you can eat a lot again if you want. And this is like $6. I think it was $6. So definitely very worth. So that's the end of today's haul video. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And again, all the clothes and items that you have seen in this video today will be listed down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video again and hope to see you guys soon. Bye!